everybody, we're here at the Ontario Science Centre and we are going to get our hands into a worm bin. Come check it out. Worms are really neat because they'll actually eat the rest of our food, stuff that you know, would probably end up in a landfill and, and take up a lot of space. We can actually turn it back into soil. They will eat that food and what's nice about these worms too is that they eat their body weight of food in a day. So, so they're very efficient in turning our, comp our, our food, our food scraps, into compost very, very fast. Everybody at home, can you imagine eating your body weight in food every single day? That's incredible. Well, I've tried, let me tell you, but it didn't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got very, very sick. Somebody once told me that um, most of the soil on our planet has passed through worms. Is that true through the stomach of a worm? It, it's very true. I would totally believe that. Aristotle called worms the intestines of the soil. They, they actually aerate the soil, they move through, create all these little tunnels, and they poop out nutrient-rich uh, compost that plants will use and reuse. So in essence, they keep the soil alive. So Sarah, do you have any idea what you call a group of worms? Um, uh, no idea. <laughs> no idea? Well, what, imagine a group of worms on your hands, and what, what would they be doing? They, oh, a wriggler. A, a wriggler? Yeah. Very close. Well, they, they're a squirm. A, a group squirm? of worms is a squirm, because they're all squirming on your hand. So, Andrew, in my hand, I have some ordinary soil, and I want to know, what's the difference between ordinary soil and worm soil? It's nice and dark, and that means it's full of nutrients. As opposed to this, it's already dry, it's kind of whitish, and there's some other gritty material there, like sand and, and uh, a little bit of clay, too. So, this is what plants love, and that's why worms are so important to turn that into this with a little bit of food in it. Thanks, Andrew. No problem. That's lots of fun working with poop. And remember, <laughs> if you ever touch your warm poop, always wash your hands. You want to touch your own poop and not wash your hands, right? So make sure you wash your hands after touching any uh, warm bin.